So premium processing is back for certain petitions starting June 1st. In this video, we'll talk about um, who's eligible and the specific timeline as to when this is going to be implemented. So watch this video and I'll see you on the other side. Hello everybody. In this video, we'll talk about the premium processing coming back for certain petitions. As you know, on March 20th, the USCIS suspended premium processing for all applications, H-1Bs, O-1s, E-1s, everything was put on hold and pretty much devastated so many people that I wanted to get some um, quick results on their visas. Well, as of June 1st, premium processing is coming back. But before that, if you're here for the first time, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Click that bell to be notified. We release videos every single week. And also click a like on the video. It will help YouTube um, show our video to more people and so more people can find this information. So premium processing, as I mentioned, was suspended on March 20th, but now it's coming back. So UCIS announced um, a few days ago that they're gonna be releasing it in, in phases. So phase number one is gonna start on June 1st. And what's gonna happen on June 1st, I want 40 petitions are going to be able to file for premium processing. I-140 petitions are used for green card applications, uh, um, EB2, uh, EB3. So um, those people that are filing I-140s, there are certain I-140 petitions that are eligible for premium processing. More specifically, those that are under the EB2 category uh, following an approval of PERM, you file for the green card and those applications can be used for premium processing that's going to start on june 1st so the next step is going to be june 8. what's going to happen on june 8 is that they're going to be processing all h1b applications that were filed before june 8 that are cap exempt meaning that they were um, filed with employers that are cap exempt like universities or other nonprofits, as well as h1bs that were previously counted uh, for the cap meaning that these are H-1Bs that either are transfers or extensions that are not subject to the cap. As well as any other petitions like O-1s or E-2s that were filed before June 8, those will be eligible for uh, premium processing after June 8. So that's phase number two. So the next phase, we're talking about June 15th. On June 15th, uh, the next petitions that can join premium processing are cases that filed after June 8, also people that want to file concurrently. So petitions are filed after June 8, they want to file the I-907, which is the form used for premium processing, plus their petition, for example, H-1B, that is still cap exempt, meaning that uh, filed with an employer that is considered to be cap exempt, like a nonprofit, or certain H-1Bs that are for physicians under the Conrad waiver, those are also going to be allowed to um, use premium processing uh, petitions they filed after June 8. So on June 15th, they're going to be able also to use premium processing. The final phase is June 22nd. After June 22nd, all H-1B petitions that are cap subject could also file uh, premium processing, including change of status from F to H-1B using the premium processing, including those petitions that want to file concurrently their H-1B petitions or any other petition using the premium processing. So to summarize, we talked in about June 1st for premium processing for I-140s. Then we have June 8, uh, new phase for H-1B petitions that are cap subject, as well as all other petitions that were filed uh, before June 8. Then we have then we have June 15th for petitions that are cap subject, but they want to file concurrently their uh, petitions that were filed after June 8 and then final phase June 22 which is all uh, petitions including H-1B that are subject to the cap including all other petitions that want to file their premium processing concurrently. An important announcement those people that filed their cases before March 20th um, premium processing but never received any action or refund they can refile their cases right now based on the guidelines that I just mentioned in this video. That's really important because a lot of people are emailing a question, they don't know what to do, they file their premium, there's no... These are great news because we have a lot of people that are looking to 
uh, change jobs. They're looking to um, um, make big decisions right now, and they can't because premium is not effective. So they don't know what's going to happen with their cases. So we are welcome that uh, USAIS is bringing back premium processing, and we hope that more good changes are going to come uh, into effect. So once again, um, if you have questions, post them in the comments below. Um, we also have a private Facebook group that we're going to be updating this information and continue the discussion. There are many people that are going through the processing. There are people that are file petitions and they're wondering what's going to happen. So make sure that you join our Facebook group. There's a link in the description of this video to join the group. And also, once again, if, you, if you're here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel. So click that bell to be notified. We release videos every single week. So this is a huge update and hopefully you found it useful. If you know somebody who may benefit, please share this video with somebody who may care. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in our next video.